So if we create this array of size integer with five elements, then if we print this array and this address of this array, what is going to be the difference? There is a significant difference. So please watch the video till the end. So if I will just compile this and execute it, we will see that both are actually printing the same address. So to understand that, let me take you through an example here. We have this array, right? We have zero to four and let's put elements like zero, one, this is one. So this is basically your array. Now, if I tell C out just array. So we all know that this array meaning the first element address. So the first element address is let's say zero cross 11. But if I say C out, address of the array so basically what i'm trying to tell is my array is what it is an integer of five elements like array of integers with size five so with this actually i'm talking about the whole array itself so this one is just a single array element whereas this guy is the whole array itself okay not the single one but if you see the address, they both will, let's suppose if I'm printing this, this will be like zero cross 11 because this is the starting address and this will also print the zero cross 11. To understand this whole thing, we have to do some experiment. And that experiment is if we do arithmetic, operator arithmetic, if I will do array plus one or the address of array plus one, this should actually take me to the next element of this array correct but this would actually increment by this whole size so this will take me to this next memory which is actually a garbage one so printing this one and this one would give you the same result but if you just increment it by one that would actually tell you where the whole thing is going let me show you that so instead of array if we print array plus one and this plus one then in this case you will find that they are totally different see before it was 204 and now it is 208 and look at this this is 218 so now if you will see they are not equal see this is giving you 208 but this is 218 so they are not equal this guy have taken a very big jump whereas this guy have taken jump of four bytes and this guy have taken jump of the whole entire array size and if you are still not convinced i have a trick so basically if i would do this address of arr let's say do some operation arr if i would compile this it would tell me that that this type is of integer pointer pointing to five array size whereas another size is just integer pointer so this guy is just the integer pointer whereas this guy is a pointer to an integer with five array size now this is really very clear right now your compiler itself is telling you that this is totally different than this now it is very clear right and this array is telling you actually i cannot do this minus operation because they both are not of same type what I mean is, um, let me do this. If I would do this array, let's say plus one, and if I say now do this minus, then it should be compiling and there won't be an issue. And if we run this, it would tell you that the total difference is plus one. Correct? See, this is the difference. And if I would say do four, let's say, and I'll print and L. Let me compile again and if I will run this, see the difference is 4 because in the original array I incremented it by 4 and then arithmetic operation on pointers is actually happening here. But with this address of array, it was not happening just because the pointer types were not matching. Now you have your reason, right? Never tell that this and this are actually equal no this is not equal to this just because they both can print same value for the first pointer it doesn't mean that they are equal so i hope you enjoyed this video so share it with your friends that would help them and me both thanks for watching guys bye bye take care